come on, dude. Anyways, slant, big Mac eleven, back of the seven on some bullshit. It's a nice day in California, it's pretty sunny, it's warm, nice weather, and it only seems fitting that before we talk about this video, we're gonna go get some mochi donuts just because my wife feels like it, and we're just gonna do it. Also, if you've never had mochi donuts before, you're gonna come with us and you're gonna see how amazing they are. So, let's go. All right, so today we're gonna be watching a video that low-key blows my mind and there's a concept about this that is amazing. I saw this video on TikTok when I was scrolling it and I just have to discuss it because it's so interesting, it's so intriguing. So with that being said, um, let's just watch the video together. Ready? And go. We are the identical twins who married identical twins. For the most part, all four of us can tell each other part. Well, you know, from the side, from the back, we look alike, <laughs> as do Josh and Jeremy. When we finally decided to propose, we knew that we had to propose at the same time. And we said yes at the exact <laughs> same moment. Our engagement rings represents two eternities, two forevers intertwined. Twinfinity is what we say. <laughs> Okay, well, you guys get the concept, right? These are two twins, or two sets of twins that decided to marry each other. And by itself, that is amazing, right? That's so interesting to all of us because how many twins do you know? You probably know a couple here or there, but how many sets of twins, twins do you know that actually got married to each other? I guarantee you don't. But that's not the part that really blows my mind. The part that blows my mind about this video is the fact that their genetic makeup is pretty much the same. When they have kids, their kids will be genetically siblings and not cousins. Let me explain. You see, every human being has a certain set of genes that we have inherited from our parents. And when we got them from our parents, we essentially, you know, mixed and matched and that's how we came out. So I have a certain amount of genes that are shared between me and both my mother and my father, right? We share the same amount of DNA or certain amount of DNA. And that happens across the world. But when you have twins, when you have twins, especially identical twins, this really only applies to identical twins. When you have identical twins, their DNA is essentially the same. They both have exactly the same DNA, the makeup of the DNA. Now, when it comes to DNA, certain genes may be activated for one twin and they may not be activated for another twin, or certain genes might be silenced from one twin and may be not silenced for another twin, but the genetic makeup for identical twins is pretty much the same. So if you are taking those two twins and you're looking at their genes, they're really gonna have the same genes because they both came from the same egg. That's when the split happened, right? They didn't have two separate eggs that got fertilized, only one egg got fertilized and then it split and that's how you get identical twins and that's why they look identical. Makes sense. Well, when you have two sets of those, right? As in this case where you have two guys and two girls, the girls are identical twins and the guys are identical twins, they all, the, guy, the girls share the same DNA and the guys share the same DNA. And when they get together, both couples are gonna essentially have the same DNA structure or the same genetic makeup because, again, the guys share the same DNA and the girls share the same DNA. And this is where it gets really interesting. When they have kids, their kids will be genetically siblings and not cousins. Yeah, their kids will actually be genetic siblings and not genetic cousins because of the way their parents' genes are. Their parents share the same genes, their parents share the same DNA. And because they share the same DNA, essentially you have two carbon copies of the same couple. You have two of the same couple and when they have kids, all of their kids, even though they are technically cousins, are going to be genetic siblings. Now you gotta think about the genetics behind it. When you have a sibling, whether you have a brother or a sister, especially a biologic sibling, and when you guys share the same parents, you two, the siblings, are gonna share a certain amount of DNA no matter what. Because both of your DNA is coming from your parents. 
When you share a certain amount of DNA, that makes you essentially siblings because you're sharing the same amount of DNA. Now, when it comes to cousins, you're still gonna share a certain amount of DNA, but it'll be a lot less in terms of percentage. When that happens, we can genetically say that you guys are siblings or not. And that's one of the main bases behind 23andMe and how they can tell you, hey, you have a sibling in this location or someone that you don't know you're related to because your genetic makeup is very similar and it's very close to someone else's. But in this scenario, when it comes to two twins marrying each other, when those couples get together, they have the same genetic makeup. And when they have kids, their kids are gonna share essentially the same amount of genes that siblings would, which makes them genetic siblings, even though they are cousins. Yeah, science is crazy. And it's pretty cool. So I hope you thought this was really interesting. I thought it was really interesting. If you want to see the full video, because uh, I just cut off the video like halfway through. If you want to see the full video, the link is going to be in the bio. The rest of it is pretty interesting. I just didn't think I wanted, you know, to show it to the whole video because it gets kind of boring. Um, but I hope you found this interesting. If you guys like this video, don't forget to uh, give your boy a subscribe. Follow me on TikTok at Mad Medicine. We got a small community, we got a small following over there. So if you're coming from TikTok, thank you so much. If you are going to go to TikTok, enjoy. And uh, I'll see y'all back here real soon, okay? Take care. Peace.